What's up everybody? Today we're talking about three changes coming to malls and carry. First up on our list is Fenton. It is following this trend of live, work, play. I'm sure you've seen it around, but if you don't know what it is, it's basically the concept where you can stay in one place and accomplish all you need to do in life. It's supposed to have apartments and shopping as well as office buildings. We're excited because our new Compass office is going to be located at Fenton. But this is a just true luxury development in Cary. It's costing one billion dollars with a B to develop the property and it's just going to have extraordinary opportunities that we really haven't seen in the triangle before. There's going to be a pottery barn, a premier Nike store, uh, Lululemon's going to be there. So there's really nice shopping. Uh, and then there's also office spaces and apartments. Many people have asked us, um, are these apartments going to be for sale or are they for rent? And as far as we know, and I've been told by the developer at this point, all of the living space is going to be a for rent product. Uh, they haven't released any of the prices for the rental opportunities yet, but following along with the luxury space that they're playing in, uh, we suspect that they'll be on the high side. On the play side, Paragon Theater plans to introduce a theater that goes above and beyond what is provided in the Triangle area. It includes pod style seating, an extreme theater, an outdoor screen, this pod style seating is configured to look like love seats or singles. It's basically uh, what you see in a luxurious first class flight. Next up, we're going to talk about Cary Town Center, or should I say, the former Cary Town Center. To think about this, we need to go back to the 90s. Think Beanie Babies, CD players, the Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio, but my favorite, mall walkers. Still don't understand why getting up early to go walk in the mall became a thing. If you were ever at Cary Town Center in the morning, mall walking was definitely a thing. Fast forward a decade or two and Cary Town Center was struggling to bring people to its space. At one point, Ikea talked about moving there and then that fell apart. Uh, but eventually, two development firms called Turnbridge and Denali paid $31 million for the struggling mall. And then a few months later, we started hearing rumblings that maybe the mall was gonna get sold again and Believe it or not, a local company called Epic Games, who just raised a, another round of funding and were valued at $32 billion, bought them all. They paid $95 million for the property. When they bought it, one of the favorite headlines that I saw was, it's unclear why the seller sold. And I think the $60 million profit in just a few months was probably a pretty good reason for them to sell. Anyways, Epic has already gone and started the demolition process and plans to bring a similar work, live, play space to its campus. The one thing that we don't know is will this live, work, space uh, opportunity be for the general public or will it only be for Epic employees? We've dug into Carrie's planning portal and can't find all the details yet, but sure that there will be more to come soon. Now we're going to talk about Carrie's first mall, South Hills Mall. South Hills Mall was developed in the early 60s by a gentleman named Mr. Martin who owned the property until his death just a couple years ago uh, when his family took over the property. Mr. Martin was just a staple of the mall and there's tons of stories about his caring personality and all that he did for those that worked and played at the mall. He was just a great man and a great Cary family. Anyways, after his passing, the family decided to sell the mall. And in a deal worth $38.4 million, two firms, one from Chicago and one from Raleigh, teamed up to buy what they called an uh, underutilized property. And we're hoping to bring it up to its potential. Recently, they've signed an agreement with the town of Cary to look into exploring turning the property into a $200 million sports complex that would not only cover conventional sports, but also esports. And it's a really great opportunity for Cary to bring different opportunities to the town and increase tourism. So question for you, what do you think? Are these changes coming to the Cary Mall landscape good, bad? We wanna know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. 